Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking and Travel Podcast. My name is Darren, of course. Today I've got a special guest. I have Miss Diane Moran. She is from Ammo Waterways River Cruise Line. And we're going to discuss everything about river cruising. I'll be right back with Diane Moran from Ammo Waterways. Welcome to the Fire and Water Cooking and Travel Podcast, where we discuss all things food, cooking, and travel related. Join us as we discuss all different types of cooking methods, cooking styles, all different types of food and restaurants, and of course, we'll talk about travel as it relates to foodie travel, like cruises, all different kinds of uh, food tours, and all that we'll have on special guests to talk about cooking methods and cooking styles, and also travel. Make sure you subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Well, thank you guys for joining us again here on the Fire and Water Cooking and Travel Podcast. I have another special guest with me today, and her name is Diane Horan, and she is the Director of Strategic Partnerships for Ammo Waterways, which is a river cruise company. And I really want to go into river cruising because I think that is one of the next really cool travel opportunities that people are going to really start enjoying here. So Diane, go ahead and introduce yourself. Thanks for joining Yes, I would love to. And thank you, Dan, for inviting me to talk about this because it is, it's the river cruise segment of the travel business is actually the fastest growing segment of travel at this time. And uh, rightly so. When we talk a little bit about it, you'll understand why people are embracing it. For me, um, myself, I actually have been in the industry my entire life. Believe it or not, Darren, I've only done one other job that wasn't in travel. And that was when I was in high school and I worked in a a nursing home, which actually I really love working with those older people. I learned a lot from them. Uh, But I immediately knew when I went on my senior class trip to Hawaii from Wisconsin that I had died and gone to heaven. And that was what I was going to do. So I've been devoted my whole life to this industry and I love it. I've been very fortunate to have worked with Ama Waterways from almost their beginnings. They've been in business now 22 years. I've been with the company 17 of those 22 years. And they really had just started to build ships when I came in. We were on our second build. And believe it or not, as of next year, we're going to have 29 ships and then adding to it another nine Oh my goodness. So it's really changed when I from the time I started with our one or two little ships to to how we've grown. So it's a very much a testimony to how much people are truly embracing river cruising and how AMA has kind of struck a note with them and and we're we've developed a product that people really do embrace. So well, one of the things I like about AMA is that you guys are concentrated on river cruising. There's other companies that do river cruising, but they've also do some other stuff. They'll do ocean cruises or some that will do uh, regular tour, tour packages. And they kind of have a couple river cruise ships, but you guys are really dedicated to the rivers and with that many ships out there. Yeah, Yeah. that's very (laughs) meaningful because we are 100% dedicated to river travel, period, the end. This is all that we do. And so we don't get distracted by having ocean cruise ships or having tour companies. We're highly focused on what we do. And besides the river, we do, we have developed a nice uh, series of land extensions, but they're still tied to our rivers because our cruise managers who are on board with our guests for the whole week are also the land managers. So they go on with them. So when you travel with Ama Waterways, it's a really seamless experience. So it's really important to understand this about us because it really does set us apart in the marketplace. Well, and that, that uh, sets me up for my next um, question. Yeah. What is the main difference between ocean cruising and river cruising? Because I know a lot of people, especially a lot of people I know, they've been on ocean cruises because I live in Florida. You know, we've got all the ports here, all the cruise lines come out of here and everybody can jump on a cruise ship and go out onto a three or four or seven or 10 day cruise. And they know what to expect. But river cruising has been kind of concentrated over in Europe and other areas. So it's, there are some over here, but they're kind of very limited. But Correct. a lot of my people that I'm 
that are listening to this probably don't really know the difference between a river cruise and an ocean cruise. Can you go over that a little bit? Absolutely. One of the most defining differences is the sheer size we're dealing in. So a river cruise ship for AMA holds approximately 160 people. Now, in some markets, we have them, they're only holding 100 people, like in Portugal, or 124 in the Mekong. But for the most part, the average European river cruise ship that we built is around 160 passengers. So basically, you could take our entire fleet, stack it up, and it would fit into one ocean ship, to give you an analogy, okay? So you're dealing in a smaller, more intimate world when you're on the rivers. When you get on board, especially with AMA, we're a family business. So when you get on board, we want you to feel at home and relaxed. You get on board, you unpack your bag one single time, and then you'll cruise along the river. And in a period of an eight-day, seven-night cruise, you could very easily see four countries and you will not feel rushed or it's too much or, or, or you know, it's um, too many things going on. It's very, very relaxed way to do it. A good analogy or something to compare it to if you are an ocean cruiser is if you've been to Alaska and if you've done the inside passage and you know how that is every day you stop in a different city along the, the passage and you get on and you get off. Well, that's what we do every single day on a river cruise ship. Our distances are small between the ports. Sometimes you'll come into a port in the morning, right when you're finishing your breakfast, and then you'll spend the day there. And when we're done there, because it's a small port, we'll get back right on the ship and cruise down the river. And some days if we're in a big port, like let's say the city of Vienna, where there's lots to see and do, we're going to stay there and even stay overnight there. So we've really timed it out and planned it out exceptionally so that you can get the most out of your trip. And that's why I love rivers. It gives you freedom. It gives you freedom to get off the ships, get on the ships, go on our tours, go on your own, whatever you want to do. Just make sure you get back on the river cruise ship before we leave for the next port. And guess what, Darren? If you miss it, it's okay because we're just down the river. We're not out in the middle of a big ocean. <laughs> yeah, that so that, that would make it really easy to if you yeah. happen to miss getting on the boat. You don't have to worry about taking a helicopter to find it. Correct. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. that's another thing, too. So like you said, I think it's more an immersive in the actual destinations because you're not looking at how many water slides are on here. What's the, yeah. you know, not saying you don't have entertainment, but you know, how many different entertainments it's, do you have? You know, you, a lot of times on the, on the ocean cruising, I know it's a little different in Europe, but over here, you know, it's always, do they have a comedian? How many shows do they put on? What, how many, yes. you know, my kids need to be entertained. How much, you know, amusement park activity do they have for the kids? Yeah. River cruising is not like that at all. It is not. And we, we say that the ocean cruise lines take you to the countries, but the rivers take you through the countries. So you're like on a river road. And as you said, we don't really need all those forms of entertainment because the destination is our entertainment. You are going there because you want to see Salzburg and you want to see Bratislava and you want to see Budapest, right? And so it consumes the day. So even when we do have children on board, which by the way, with Ama Waterways, we do embrace multi-generational travel. We do accept children age four and up. We don't get a lot of children, but we do get family reunions. More people come with us now with their families during the summer and, uh, and you know during Christmas time. Uh, but it we've we've come up with a series of activities that are off the ship that are appealing to people of all ages, all agilities, and they're all included. There's no nickel and diming. You know, you sign up if you want to go into the town and just take the traditional city tour, or you want to take a biking tour on one of our 25 bicycles, or you want to go on a hiking tour, or you want to learn how to make goulash in Hungary. Whatever it is you want to do, you just sign up for it, and it's been included in the cost. Yeah, that's another great thing I wanted to touch on. So 
about the only thing you would actually have to pay for when with you guys is if you want to have an alcoholic drink package, correct? Correct. And we don't really sell packages. So here's how it works with AMA. Now, this is very specific to our brand. We do not include unlimited drinking all day long. What we instead include is during every time, every meal hour, be it breakfast, if you'd like a champagne or a mimosa, certainly you're welcome to one that's included. But at lunch and dinner, we include unlimited wines, beers, and soft drinks. Uh, and, you know, there's always coffee, tea available to you 24 seven free of charge. But if you would like to have a alcoholic drink outside of the normal meal hours, then you would get it at the bar. Now, we have what's called the sip and sale hour as well. So prior to every meal hour, the dinner meal, we also serve cocktails complimentary. So you can consume whatever you like. And then after, so really the only time you can pretty much pay for other additional drinks are after the meal hour, or if you haven't taken a tour and you want a, a drink during the day other than wine, beer, and soft drinks. So, and and honestly, Darren, even when you purchase a drink with AMA, they're very, very reasonably priced. I mean, a beer on AMA was $5. So. Yeah. Well, so and like, like we were talking about, you're really not there to party and drink. You're there to experience um, the destinations yeah. that you're going to. And I know if I took a whole day and I walked through Vienna, you know, I wouldn't want to have to come back to the ship and just pound as many drinks as I wanted it, to, you know, exactly. uh, I'm probably going to be tired. So if I have one or two, that's probably going to be enough for me. That's what but I find. And, <laughs> and, and you can, just so you know, if you're going on a wine cruise with us or you find something in town, you really like to drink, you could bring it on board. We don't care. There's no worry about that either. There's a little fridge in almost all of the cabins, depending on the ship you're on. And you can bring on your own alcoholic drinks if you like. It's just, it's it's a non-issue with AMA. It really is. It's not a big profit center for you, so you don't care. It, it isn't. <laughs> we don't push it. We don't, you know, if you'd like drinks, they're available to you. If you don't, if you want to bring your own, it's it's all good. So, so another, let's, before we leave the differences between the ocean and river, the uh -huh. destinations, it's not just that you guys hit more of them or you can spend more time. You hit a lot of different locations that a regular ocean cruise liner cannot go to because you're on a river and you're sometimes you're in the middle of the, the country. You're not. Germany. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> so um, there's no ocean around there. Yeah. <laughs> right. So you can hit a lot of different and you hit more of them too. So Correct. instead of just hitting four or five or what have you in like a seven day period, you can hit more because they're closer together. But like I said, you couldn't even try to hit them with an ocean cruiser because you couldn't get there. You, you just can't. Yeah. And that's the, that's the beauty of it. That's why people have really grasp it and, and really, you know, are really very interested in river cruising these days because it takes you off of the regular roads where you're driving in buses and you're having to pack and unpack your bags and get in and get out of hotel rooms. It takes that away and just takes you seamlessly to each and every port. And plus in the European community, especially, you know, all those towns were built along the river purposefully, of course, because that's where they did all their commerce. And so now what happens is that you're right in the heart of the city and the town where you want to be. So you don't have to meander and wake, make your way in there if you've driven in. You're already there. You're right where you want to be, yeah. where all the castles are, where all the old medieval towns are. Everything is right there off of the river. So it's the other beauty of it. Yeah, not like when you take a cruise to Rome and you're you're an hour and a half away from Rome. <laughs> from yeah, when you I just did that. I know about, yeah, because I'd <laughs> like to cruise too. And I know, yeah, yeah. you're very far. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so let's talk a far. little bit about um, the history of AMA, because like I said, there are other cruise lines out there. And, you know, one of the bigger ones, like I said, is has been around a while, but they also have spread out into ocean cruises. But AMA, yeah. like I said, I love AMA because they, concentrate on river cruises and you got a lot of ships now and you got a whole bunch of different itineraries that yep. some of the others don't offer i think you guys are now going to columbia is that correct 
We are. So yeah, outside of the European community, which of course is our core product, we also have some exotic destinations like we have Africa, which South Africa, which is the Chobe River by Botswana, Namibia, and Zimbabwe. Uh, in South Africa, we also have the Mekong River, which is Vietnam, Cambodia, and we also have Egypt on the Nile. But then we have made the announcement that as of January 2025, we are going to have two ships that we are building for Colombia. So that's going to be really special. It's on the Magdalena River uh, between Barranquilla and Cartagena. And these two ships will be approximately 64 passengers in size, the Ama Magdalena and the Ama Melodia. And they will begin, the first one begins in January, and I believe the second one's beginning in June. And so we are really excited because this is going to be the first ever river cruise with passengers in this country. And this country is really drawing a lot of attention now for tourism. It is really becoming very popular. Cartagena is a beautiful place. The country itself has so much to offer. It's so unique and diverse and different. So watch for more information as that comes out. But we are actively selling that right now too, Darren. So now's yeah. the time to be looking into it because the ships are small. So the, the space is filling. Yeah. So let's talk about the history of AMA. How did it start? And what made them just concentrate on river and where do you see them going? Obviously they're expanding into different markets. So that's always a good thing and they're building more ships. So let's just talk a little bit more about where they started and then where they're going. We'll go into that. Thank you. Yeah. I'd love to talk about their history because it really is defines us. It is the reason why we are very special. We were started back 22 years ago by Rudy Schreiner, Christine Karst and Jimmy Murphy. Rudy Schreiner is still to this day our, our president of the company and Christine, our VP. And, uh, and Jimmy Murphy sadly passed away, but his son, Jimmy Murphy, stepped into his shoes and has been uh, taking a, a wonderful lead position like his dad did all these years. So the reason why this is important to you to know is that Rudy actually went to college to be an architect. And he found himself at the age of 23 going to the Amazon River. And he went with a group of buddies to do a project. It was some type of, of uh, charitable project that he did. And he just totally fell in love with the rivers. And instead of going back to Vienna to become an architect, he went to the United States and he started to run several student travel associations to bring more and more young people to travel, to experience the world, and to be changed by it like he had just been. And that led him eventually over the years to meet the person that was starting Viking River Cruises. And he actually was the one that helped launch that brand. But in uh, 2000, in, what would it be, 2002, it would be, he decided that he was going to launch AMA Waterways. And that was because he had in mind what he envisioned to be all the redeeming things he would want to have if he was cruising on a river and put them all together and created this brand. Christine Karst came in. She had been she had come in to um, do the guest services on board. And her vision was that when we hired people for the company, that those people would be hired, not necessarily because of their past background from their resume, but because of their personalities. Because she found out very quickly that in travel, you can give somebody a beautiful hardware or a beautiful ship to be on, but if you don't deliver it in a way where they feel welcomed and a part of it, they're going to have a different impression of it. And to that day, we still work like that. Um, even with our growth, we're still hiring people based on, on those criteria. Uh, and then Jimmy Murphy had come in with his rich touring background, having been the creative uh, tour company that's still in business today called Brendan Tours. And so they all came together and formulated AMA those 22 years ago now, and it has been a match made in heaven. Uh, they still, to this day, Christine and Rudy are running the company. They're 24-7 involved with the everyday operations. And Rudy Schreiner actually 
took what he went to school to become, and he is the architect of all of our ships. This is also very important for you all to know because he takes his architecture um, and his background in river and combines them. That is why we have flat bottoms, we have shallow drafts. So when you're dealing with water levels on rivers, which I'm sure you've all heard of, our ships negotiate those waters better than any of them. It's completely because of our design. So, and that was purposefully done. So these are really important qualities and, and important things for you to know. Another super important thing I should probably tell you is Rudy is very old fashioned. He doesn't believe in having debt. So when he builds our ships, he pays for our ships. So I really am telling you that by next year, we will have 29 ships that are all paid for. So there's no financial burden on us. So when that horrible thing called the pandemic took place, we were fine. We were able to skirt through it without any problem because we were prepared. So these are important things I think people think about when they travel and they need to know and you need to be transparent and willing to share this with them. So, yeah, I mean, I know just from all the commercial the big mega cruise lines that when the pandemic hit, how much debt they had to uh, you know, burdened themselves with because they couldn't sail and how many ships they had to s sell off and all that. And still they're trying to dig themselves out from all the debt that they had because of the yeah. pandemic. So it's, it's uh, true. And, 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 and it's also, a, it's a testimony, it, yeah, to our, and it, and it makes you not have to chase every single dollar like some of those have to. Yeah. You don't have to worry about a, getting a drink package and then, no. you know, making all this other, like with some of the bigger, uh, Ocean cruise, you know, they're building their own little island so they can capture every single dollar instead yes. of going to another destination where that destination can benefit from the tourism. They're just trying yes. to hold on to it for themselves because they need it. You know, they need it. Can yeah, I well, it's Darren. I want to make sure you check out Fire and Water Cooking Edible Creations, seasonings, and sauces. The uh, black garlic we use is the highest quality domestic black garlic you can find from the black garlic and herb compound butter to the blueberry and black garlic to our all-purpose black garlic and our black garlic and coffee seasoning all are amazing made with the highest quality ingredients you can find them on amazon walmart.com and on fireandwatercooking.com check them out guys Can I tell you a really quick story? The very Certainly. first time I went on Ama Waterways, uh, I was going there to research it because I didn't work for them yet. And Christine had wanted me to uh, do their marketing for them. And I said, yeah, I can't do that unless I know what I'm talking about because I, I you know, devoting all this these years of my life to travel, I want to know that what I'm telling other travel advisors to sell is, is something that I would really embrace. So I went. When I got to the last day of that cruise, I went up to the front desk to pay for my bill. And they said, you don't have one. I'm like, what do you mean I don't have one? They said, well, you actually didn't buy anything. And I <laughs> didn't spend one cent. I was like embarrassed, actually, because I, I didn't go in the gift shop because I was so mesmerized by the destinations. I was buying everything off the ship. I didn't buy a single extra drink because they gave me so many drinks. I just couldn't, I didn't need to buy anything. I didn't go in their spa. That's the one thing you can pay for on AMA. But at the time I was doing research. So I was busy out doing other things. And um, that's about it. So there, there really wasn't any way for me to spend any money on board. And I didn't. I gave my little tips for the, for the crew and staff and said my buys and left. And that day they won me. I came home from that trip and I said, Christine, this is the greatest form of travel ever invented. And she said, what can we do better? And I said, do not do one thing different. I know you're brand new. I know this is just getting going. But right now, if you can keep it like this, no matter how big you grow, you will have a winner because it's just you've 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 captured everything that people are looking for in travel which is being relaxed, not feeling rushed, enjoying every minute on your own time. If you want a tour, take it. 
If you change your mind and you don't want to take it, it's not going to cost you any money to change your mind. It's just all so carefree. So, you know, and I, I'm so proud to think after 17 years, I've been with the company now. They haven't changed. They really have that same mentality, the same philosophy. It's our same business model. So we just keep getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, you did touch on uh, something you said about the um, the way the ships are built, because um, Rudy was an architect and is an architect, how yep. he designs them. Um, yep. So you do have some different types of ships. And let's talk about the Ama Magna, Magna. <laughs> is that yeah. your newest ship and your biggest the ship? Biggie, and, the Magna. Yeah, so your, yeah. Le- your latest, biggest, baddest river ship. Yeah, Let's talk about that it is. One. It's the mama of all our ships. So the Ama Magna was built and can only operate on the Danube because of its sheer size. Now, the reason why we're talking about it being so much bigger, it's simply the same exact length, which is 445 feet, but it is not 38 feet wide, it is 72 feet wide. So you have doubled the width of the ship. And by so doing that, it has doubled the available space on board. It's allowed us to have very, very extremely large staterooms on board. And it is simply one of a kind. However, Rudy did announce last month, he's going to start building another one because he loves this ship so much and the world has embraced it. Now, I want you to understand that even though it's double the width we did and double the size, we did not put more people on it to double. We only put 20% more people on it. So the average stateroom size on our normal ships is 210 to 235 square feet. On the Magna, it is 355 square feet. So it is the same size as a suite on our other twin balcony ships. So really important for those of you who might be transitioning from ocean to river cruising and you want it to be less of a, of a difference, check out the Magna. And if you haven't river cruised, you've got to go on the Danube because the Danube and the Rhine are the top sellers. And they are, and they deserve that designation because they're really quite wonderful to cruise on. Yeah, I'm looking forward to to getting on one of these ships pretty soon. Um, yeah. I'm really hot. Yeah, I mean, we've done a lot of ocean cruising. Yeah. And my biggest thing is spending a lot more time in these destinations that you can't get to on an ocean cruise. And absolutely, ju- just being able to, you know, look out the, the, you know, your window and see you're right there by, you know, it's not like yeah. you're out in the middle of the ocean. You're right there. You're, going down the river so yeah there's always something out your window to see that is so true and that's I'm, what i love about it as well i'm gonna go ahead and share my screen real quick and it's gonna be the um there we go so it's the ah, Emma waterways beautiful picture of the magna yeah there's, there's the magna that we're baby. talking about and now this is a smaller yeah. one so I, I like the, the way that transitions yeah <laughs> And that that cello is our our oldest ship, and the okay. Magna is one of our newer, but not the newest. There are more ships built since the Magna now, but okay. But the Magna see, is is the Magna the only one that has the pickleball court on it? That is correct. The okay. Amma Magna does. We have a wellness program which we also were the pioneers in developing, and the, that particular um, ship, the Amma Magna, has a huge wellness center, but it and a, and a spa center, but it also has a full on official size pickleball court, yeah. and it is drawing attention, and people are loving it. I have to tell you. So I know I had an older uncle that loved pickleball. He played it for years until he couldn't yeah. anymore. So so that yeah. so this one here is like one of your smaller ones. Is that what you said? Yeah, the Amicello, that's actually at the moment our our oldest ship was the it was built in 2009. Um, but it is still absolutely beautiful because it's been redone a few times and it sails on the rivers in France because it's a smaller ship of 148 passengers uh, and it's called a twin, I'm sorry, it's called a French balcony ship. It's in France, so it should be a French balcony, right? And so I want to explain to you how the cabins are on our ships or the staterooms, whichever you want to call them. 
So the stateroom design on the, the Amicello that you're showing there at the moment uh, means that they have what's called a French balcony where you walk into your stateroom. It's 170 square feet. It's a floor to ceiling glass sliding door. So you'll open it up and then you're right there and that there's a bar there so you don't fall into the river, of course, but you're like one with the river. I happen to love these ships because even though the stateroom isn't huge, it's ample size and you really feel like you, you, you get that beautiful fresh air and you feel one with the river when you're cruising on them. There are several suites on these ship, which are the larger that I just mentioned to you before. Um, the on this ship, they're about 255 square feet. Now on the Magna, I don't know if that will that flip or not, or is that stuck on yeah, that? I can, there you go. So on the I stopped Amazon, it from moving see, just so we could talk about it. There you go. Oh good, okay. So on the Magna that you can see there, you see we've got the full-on balconies. Now the Ama Magna is the only one of our ships where all of the all of the uh staterooms have full balconies. In other words, like a traditional balcony you're, you're used to on a, on a big cruise ship. But please note, all river cruise ships do have a bottom deck. The bottom deck has about 10 or so staterooms on it. Those are fixed window. So those are the only ones that don't have some kind of a balcony. Yep, right there where you're pointing. Thank you. And so there aren't a lot of them. The front of them are where the the passengers are and in the back that's where our our uh, crew stays uh i have stayed many many times on those fixed window staterooms and i still think they're beautiful they're the best in the industry they're still 170 square feet on the magna they're 200 square feet so and they have big picture windows so you'll still love them if you if you're concerned about pricing but every other stateroom you're going to find on the ship is going to have some form of a balcony, which is really nice to know. There's our long list of ships that's come out now. So, yeah, that's yeah. good to hear. So we can actually take a look at one See of the it. suites here. Yeah. So there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, this is the 360 degree view. So, this uh, is where you what? check in, and it looks like the restaurant's right here behind Correct. you. So, on the so, Ama Magna, we actually have four restaurants. On the um, uh, on all the other ships, we have two restaurants. And what's really important for you people that love culinary is that all of our ships have a chef's table restaurant, which provides an evening of an extraordinary experience where the chef will be freshly cooking each and every course for you in front of you. And it's completely included in the cost of your trip. Now you're showing them the lobby of the um, of the Magna. Now, if you want to show them Jimmy's restaurant, on the Magna, we have four different, distinctly different type of restaurants. We have the main dining room, the chef's table, like we do on all of our ships, but we also have Jimmy's. This is a family style restaurant where we bring you servings of food, like in big trays, just like at Thanksgiving dinner, because Jimmy Murphy, who is our our original owner, he used to love family dining. He just loved it. So this was affectionately named after him and then we also have on the magna the a la carte dining room which it's called the el fresco dining and that one i absolutely adore uh because it's on the uh on the rear of the ship where you actually get to open uh, not the rear i think it's in the forward of the ship excuse me where we actually open those windows if it's beautiful out so you can have a fresh fresh air dining experience. And if not, and it's cooler, like you're with us at Christmas markets, it's okay because mm -hmm. you're in the warmth of it, but yet you get the view. And I love eating there as well. So it's kind of fun. Now there's no charge for any of this, just so you know, all the dining's included. You eat at whatever dining room you choose to eat at and uh, you eat with who you'd like to eat with. So, so this is the chef's table on the magnet. So you, yeah, this so. is the chef's table. See that where the plants are sitting is actually where the chef at night will prepare all of the plates, and you'll see them all strewn out, all beautifully designed. Uh, as he's preparing them, each and every one of them, one at a so, time. Since we're talking about food, which is one of my favorite topics, of course, <laughs> that's one of the bases of my podcast and what I do. Yeah. Um. You said that um, 
you you do also offer like cooking classes that yes. incorporate the destination. So like it's let's say you're going to Vienna, would your cooking class be here's what uh, they they make in Vienna? Maybe kind of yeah. And <laughs> and when we go to Serbia, we have a cooking class. So on the various itineraries, we have come up with various opportunities for things dealing with cooking baking, learning to make candy, pairing a wine with something, you know, and, and the like. So each itinerary is very different and special. But if you did have a group that was particularly interested and had a focus on, on fooding, foodies uh, and culinary, we can certainly um, also, with a minimum amount of people, come up with a special shore activity around that particular special interest. We do that with food. We do that with art. We do that with music. We've done beer tours. So we can do all of these things if we know in advance that that is the special interest of that group. So it, it again, makes it more personal. And that's what you want to do on these river cruises is, is make it special. Yeah. Since we're still on the Magna here, I want to go ahead. Uh -huh. and So this is, they have a couple different lounges as well. Uh -huh. Yes, they so. do. That is the main lounge of the rest of the, of the ship itself. Uh, and that's where we have our entertainment at night. And the entertainers we bring on board generally are local entertainers. We do that on purpose to create an immersion in the destination with our wines. By the way, our wines, we change every day so that you are immersed in the destination and you taste different wines. So there's no just house wine and ama where you're drinking the same thing every day. Uh, and then we have the food that is designed with a special dish from the region. Then we bring the, the, the entertainment. And then we have these small lounge areas. It's hard to see them, but they're fireplace lounges. There's a blue one that you're looking at now on one side of the ship, and there's an orange one on the other side, which is more like a library, which has library uh, books. I don't know if they have a picture of it on this site, uh, but very, very nice. No, I didn't see one. It just says violin yeah, deck. You can see it there. If you look to the left, and yeah, you, okay. oh, no. yeah, yeah, you look to the left, you look to the right. But it's too hard to see them because they're down a staircase. The magnet even has a cinema on it, believe it or not, a cinema room. Well, so one thing I can see right here is they have an elevator on this one. They have an elevator. Yes, we do. We have an elevator. It goes to all of the passenger decks. It doesn't go to the top deck because it's too challenging for that to right. happen. We did try it, but it doesn't work well, so... Yeah, Please. that's one of the things I know that comes up occasionally is that, uh -huh. you know, people that, you know, maybe wheelchair bound or what have you, they yeah. complain that there's not a lot of um, accessibility, accessibility to the top deck. Yeah, because, well, you can't, like you said, it's yeah. just impossible to do it. Eventually, yeah. somebody will figure it out. But well, we've right been now. doing it on this. This was built to do it, but it doesn't work well. Um, right. So. It's because the, there's so many times where we would have to roll it down because of a low bridge. So you can't, if you're rolling it down, then the elevator's not working to the top deck. So we don't want to have people's expectations not met. So we try to be very honest and transparent. And, you know, in Europe, it is more challenging because even though our ship itself can handle people that have different disabilities, once you get off the ship, it's not so easy. And, you know, we have to be very honest with people about that. And I've had people that have come in full on wheelchairs and they've had companions and had lovely vacations. So as long as we have a dialogue and we talk about it and what is what is the situation, we certainly will do everything we can to to be able to provide that vacation for that guest. Well, like this podcast is sponsored by Fire and Water travel services let us help plan the foodie vacation of a lifetime for you whether it's an ocean or river cruise tours of europe all-inclusive resorts in the caribbean anything you need we can help plan it and customize it for you follow us on facebook instagram check out fireandwatertravel.com and also check out our youtube channel for videos on travel 
Well, like I said, I'm going to leave a link to uh, uh, Ammo Waterways website that'll have all the ships on there. You guys can do the ship tours. One of the things that really uh, I really like about, especially the Magna, is it's very elegant looking. It's Thank you know you. most people figure they, they think of river cruising, they kind of see the way they're shaped, and they don't think of the elegance that maybe you would see yes. in an ocean cruise ship. But that looked very elegant to me. Thank you. It does. It is. We call it modern luxury or modern comfort uh, because we want it to be a, kind of a modern uh, something that makes you feel at home, something you would feel you would have in your home, but yet feel comfort and coziness. So, yeah. And thank you for saying that. Yeah, we get a lot of comments about that. That, in fact, I had one travel advisor that came to me. She had been in Europe and she had the occasion to go visit one of our ships uh, because she was going on a tour somewhere. And she texted me when she got on and she said, oh, Diane, I'm home. I wish I could stay. <laughs> <laughs> so she immediately got that home feeling because she had been with us before and she, you know, had that special feeling. So and those are the things that make a difference. You know, there's so many things we've done on AMA to make it special. Uh, we even, for single passengers, we do embrace the solo traveler market. And we've we've done things such as when solo travelers get on the, the first or second day, we'll have a solo traveler reception just for them so they can know who else might be on board traveling in a single capacity, get to know each other. Uh, we we set some of the tables in the dining room with five seats rather than six, thus taking away that stigma of, oh gosh, there's nobody sitting by me. You know, so we've done some really creative things as well. And then our pricing for singles right at this moment is fantastic. We Many, many lines charge double, but with AMA, we've never done that. The most we would ever charge extra for a single is 50% more. And many times we have sales with just 25% or 10% single supplements. And at the moment on select dates in 2024, we have waived the single supplement totally. And, and you know, that ship you showed me, the cello, it even has two single cabins on it. So there's no single supplement. So. Wow. So let's talk a little bit about the, the demographics that mostly um, maybe when it was started and how it's changed over the years, because yeah. I know, um, you know typically people go, well, it's older people, you know, that, that yeah. go on these. And I would say mostly, yeah, because they want to do something that's more adult focused. Right. <laughs> yeah. you know, they're not True. chasing kids. They don't, they're not going to True. Disney. You know, they True. don't have to have all this entertainment for all their young kids. So it's more people that are more, in, I don't know, more sophisticated, I would say, that so, are looking to go to these uh, exo these locations that they've dreamed about. Yeah, or they've been on an Alaska cruise and they love that and they know it's the same kind of concept of stopping every day and they want to try it. And they want it, like you said, at the very beginning, you've got to, you, we go through the countries. And so it gives you the opportunity to see things you cannot, you just simply can't see when you're on a big cruise ship. But demographically speaking, AMA's demographic median age is around 55. That has come down considerably over the years. Now, AMA has Apple TV systems in the room. We have a fleet of bicycles. We have a wellness program. So we very much track toward uh, people of many different generations. Uh, that said, older people are very much into health and conscious of that now for sure. And so we have um, embraced the fact that when people are coming on board, we need to have a wide variety of activities that are appealing to all different age groups. We do get family business a lot during holidays in the summertime, which we love and uh, embrace. Uh, but again, average age, you're going to see 55 to 65 is on average. Now, other river lines do skew much higher for average age group. And that's purposeful on their part because they don't embrace family or multi-generational travel. So that's the reason. Uh, also with AMA, because of the wide variety of inclusions, it's great for a younger demographic group to be able to go out, grab a bicycle, go on their own, take one of our more active tours. 
Uh, so I think that's why our demographic age has really actually gone down rather than up. So, yeah, and it, more than likely the the children or younger people that come on the river cruises, their parents have probably they're there for more of an educational reason. They're not there oh, to to find the newest water slide or the you know they are there to go. Point. We're going to take you to these historical places that you've only seen on TV and you're going to experience them and you're not going to run around making, you know, noise and look for a right. trouble. Right. You are so right. And we don't have, I have never in the 17 years I've worked for AMA ever received a complaint about an unruly child on board ever. And I will tell you it's the truth because, well, it's a, you know, the price tag up front being all inclusive, like it is, is higher uh, usually um, than the the uh, typical cruise would be. Uh, but that's because you don't spend any money once you get there. And so that's taken into account, I think, by families as well when they're bringing children. We do, by the way, also have triple occupancy and quad occupancy available on AMA. And we even have adjoining rooms available on AMA. So this is quite unusual for a river cruise line. We did this, and I'm going to just mention this. It's because Disney came to us. They recognized AMA as the line they wanted to align with for their charters. And so they charter ships from us to use for their adventures by Disney program. So when they do that, that means they're taking a full ship out and somebody that books with Disney on an Adventures by Disney River Cruise would actually be on an AMA Waterways Cruise. But because of that, they needed things like adjoining cabins, triples, quads. So we did produce that. And now the benefit to all of you is you can take advantage of it all uh, because they have about 20 charters in a year from us that they do. So we're very, very proud of that relationship. Because for Disney to choose us is very, very meaningful because they only yeah. go with the best. Yeah. Well, and that's, that is very good for you because yeah. those people that will do the Disney one will come back to you outside of Disney, I'm sure, down they the road. Do. So. They actually they, do that. Yeah. And so, so it's a great partnership. I know you got another call you got to get to. And uh, yeah. I, we've been talking, we could probably talk for another two hours because it's I so could. interesting. But I want you to kind of go over what, what you got going on now, what okay. kind of specials are going on and all that, because I know there's going to be a lot of people that are going to have more questions. They're going to be calling me. They're going to be going to the website and they're going to be looking. So let's talk about what you guys got going on right now that they can qualify for. Cause I know you do have specials where you include airfare and all that kind of stuff with your, your fare. So. We have the air plus program. So there's an air plus program that you can uh, combined with any of our select dates that have special offers on them. So it's a match made in heaven. The Air Plus starts airfares for coach class round trip at $8.99. I think it's around $24.99 for business. And I can't remember what the premium economy is, but, or no, I think it's $24.99 premium economy, $42 for business. So it's really reasonable prices. Um, that can be combined with our promotional offer. At the moment, our biggest promotional offer is 20% off the select sailings. That's an incredible offer. It's a huge discount. So if you do call your travel advisor like you should, you will find that they can give you those dates that are available at that 20% off. In addition, uh, we do have a military offer where if you're at all in the military, active, non-active, retired, but have been military related, then you can have an additional $250 per person off. And there are even certain dates for military that are two for one. I can't believe it. I said that, but it's the truth. So again, get with the travel, your travel advisor, Darren, get with Darren, get with whatever you can to make sure that you are, you know, getting every type of reasonable uh, discount you can. But on top of that, Darren, with your travel agency, 
you actually are affiliated with TLN. And TLN means Travel Leaders Network. And it has a very strong partnership with AMA Waterways, which also brings additional discounts to the table. So all of those are combinable and super unique for AMA is we allow triple discounting. So, or quadruple discounting. So if you are a past passenger and have a discount, you're a military, you have any discount, it can be combined with what's our market offer at the time and also with the Air Plus and even with TLM. So you just, it's just a match made in heaven. You know, I was at my doctor's office today and, and the nurse was telling me she was doing all her research online by herself. I said, you are not calling your travel advisor. You are really making a mistake because you are missing out on so many things that you probably are not even aware exist. So please call one, please. So yeah, definitely. That, that is my advice to you. Every time I, I get a new, even friends of mine, I, I go through and I show them different things that they're like, oh, I was just going to go to the Carnival website. And it's like, but you know, how many times have you traveled on Carnival? Oh, a hundred times. And don't you know, there's other places out there and other companies yeah. you may get something better that you might like better you know and i'm going to show you some more things that you, might open you up a little bit and i think river cruising is another one of those things because people yeah. get locked in they go on yeah. the same cruise every year they do the same thing and yeah. once they try something new they go hey this this is awesome yeah so and a travel advisor opens you up to that that's what you do darren all day long you're looking at deals you're looking at things that are happening and you have it you have great advice and me i've been in travel my whole life which is now going on five decades believe it or not and i'm just going to tell you that i still to this day when i plan a trip that's not a river and i'm going somewhere else i call a travel advisor always because I can't keep up with it, even I, there's no way. And it's I'm not amazing. Go online. Yeah, it's amazing how much it's changed just over since COVID. Yeah. It's so much more. I mean, the expedition cruises, all different, you know, river cruising, expanding, yeah. and and all this stuff. There's so much more out there now. There um, that it, it's me. I'm, I'm constantly every day. I got to do two or three more different trainings yes. because of new stuff. So, and you're devoting I, your time to that, and that is so important for right. people to be aware. So, and there's so many new companies out there, and that offer yeah. new things that you know people just if they tried to do it themselves, they'd spend you know a year trying to plan oh. a, a week vacation. <laughs> <laughs> hours and hours and hours, and then you still don't get the best thing because you don't know, you know, and it, it's, I think that it's just one of those situations where we've come to a point where there is so many things out there that you just need a professional that can really yeah. say, I've been doing this. And, and if I don't know, I know where I can get the answers and make sure that you are getting the best possible offer. And so with AMA, we have triple savings offers next year, up to $4,000 off, combinable with OBCs, which is an onboard credit for you to help you pay for that spa visit you might want to take or go in that gift shop and buy the gift. Uh, and also, you know, upgrading your cabin is a nice little perk. So uh, I just encourage you all that if you're interested in river cruising, do not hesitate to look into it, it is there is an urgency because it is selling like hotcakes right now. It is quite popular. So the sooner you get on it, the better. And please note that that 20% off offer I mentioned to you is available on select dates in 24, 25, and now even 2026, we are booking. Christmas Markets is a really big seller. So if you're wanting to go, you need to start booking all the way up to 26 now. And, and there is some space still in 25. So get yeah, on that's, it. <laughs> that's another thing is because the ships are smaller. They're not, yeah. you know, they don't hold 7,000 people. So you got to book no. it. So they yeah, don't. you just touched on something I should have brought up earlier, but the Christmas markets, the yeah. certain uh, specialty cruises, like the wine country cruises, yeah. those are a lot of things. And people will be able to find those on your website. Cause I know you guys do a lot of those that people, you know, the, you know, tulips cruises, you know, when, you know, the, all the different regions that have seasonality right. of different things that, that they have, people don't that understand that you got, you got a lot more. It's not just going 
boom, 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 seeing all these things. You go at certain times. The Christmas yeah. market is a huge one. Yeah, Christmas markets, Easter markets I love. They're the same thing, but in the warm season of the year. The wine cruises, we have over 70 of them with Ama Waterways where we have designated wine host and it costs no more to go on those cruises and they are exceptionally popular. Uh, so yeah, take a look. Tulip time is really doing well all of a sudden. Everybody seems to want to see the tulip. So that's <laughs> going to be done in April and early May. So late, late March. So you got to jump on those because they are really looking healthy for 2025 right now. That's why we opened 26 so early because 25 is feeling fast. So, and you get great deals when you're booking far out like this. So now's a good time. So, well, and it seems since COVID, there's such more demand that people don't understand. I, I, I have to tell my clients now, they'll come to me and go, Hey, I want to look at doing Alaska. And I'm yeah. like, okay, well, you better look now for each for, for yeah. next year because they get booked up. And they're like, well, do I have to make a decision now? I said, yeah, within the next couple of weeks, because yeah. you know, they get booked up. People want these cruises. Yeah. They're not like going, you know, to the Caribbean. They right. they're people are wanting these high demand, different they are, travel yeah. experiences. And yeah. they get booked and up. Yeah, we're we really do, and we that's why we we always encourage people the sooner you book the better uh right. because then you'll have a better choice of the cabins that you would like to uh, you would like to have and also you can relax and oh one last thing I'll leave you with with Am Waterways when you make a reservation with us all we require is a $400 per person deposit at the time of the booking at that time, there is a $200 cancellation fee once you deposit, but most people are buying their travel insurance at that time so that they're covered for any pre-existing conditions. So that's all you have to risk, and you do not have to pay us one more penny until 90 days before you leave. So I don't care if you're going in 2026. We don't want your money. We don't need your money. <laughs> we just need a commitment, and so that commitment is the 400 per person. And why you're saying that is because Viking wants your money like a year and a half before. I, yeah. I know. It's I've insane. I've actually I it's made a insane. reservation. I made I made a reservation with Viking once, and I was like, "You really telling me I have to pay it in full almost a year before I go?" And they're like, "Your yep. money." <laughs> yeah, it's not. It, it is. We just don't believe in that. We don't. We're yeah. fine. We're we're solvent. We're good. So. Right. Well, thank you again, Diane. I'm I'm going to have you on again, I'm sure, and down the road because Wonderful. I really think we could spend another hour just talking about destinations. Yeah, and let's everything. pick one. So, let's do Egypt or Africa or do something special. Definitely. I really thank you for joining me. I really You're appreciate welcome. it. And I know you got another call to get to, but thanks again. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. All right. We'll have see a great you day. on the Hope next one. See you on the rivers. All right. Well, thanks again for joining us on the Fire and Water Cooking and Travel Podcast. Make sure you check out the link below for, for Ama Waterways River Cruises. You can check out all the different itineraries and ships that they offer. Make sure you check out fireandwatercooking.com, firewatertravel.com. Check out Fire and Water Travel for all your travel needs. And check us out on YouTube, Facebook, and on all our social media. Make sure you subscribe so you can catch our next episode. And I'll see you again on the next Fire and Water Cooking and Travel podcast.